Welcome back, watch fans. We're talking about the Rolex market report. That's right, the watch market report. We're going to get into what is happening with watch prices. Uh, before we get into it, on the wrist, of course, we have the Rolex King Tut. That's right, the Submariner, the no holes case, gold through the clasp with the Rehaut. Um, ironically, uh, this watch, what is the value of this watch? What is the value? Well, you're going to find out in just a second. Uh, but before we get into it, guys, you need to subscribe to our free email newsletter that's right each week we send out a special email newsletter uh the link to subscribe is in the video description below right just look below this video in that description and uh, click that link so you subscribe to our incredible incredible newsletter which is by the way it's absolutely free now you're gonna be part of an exclusive club of aristocrats and uh, cognoscenti who get our free weekly letter each month you find out the latest trends in the market uh, top deals. That's right. We show you what some of the best deals on the, on watches are. Everything from Rolex to Patek Philippe, Audemars Piguet, uh, vintage, modern, all that good stuff. And uh, listen, listen, you don't want to be a tomato can. You don't want to be a crayon eater and pay too much for a watch. Do you want to, do you want that to happen to you? You don't want that to happen to you. That's why you got to subscribe to that newsletter. Click the link in the video description below. You'll know also all the different rumors, the gossip. The drama. That's right. Click that link. Get our free weekly newsletter. Now let's get into the watch market update. Um, you know, last last time I did one of these videos over here, I was telling you that prices were dropping, uh, and they were heading uh, to a decline. Roughly, I said the bottom would come in in May, roughly May of this year. Why? Because of the uh, the Rolex Gigafactories. You know, with the Chinese kids. You know, making the watches, all that stuff. Blah blah blah. Okay. Now. Uh, I got an update. That's right. Look, markets, just like the stock market, just like crypto, these markets are dynamic. These markets are constantly changing. It's not, uh, you know, it's, they always have surprises. By the way, that's why you got to subscribe to our weekly email newsletter. Click the link in the video description below. Okay. But what's happening? Look, the decline in Rolex prices has halted. That's right. The decline has, uh, has been, uh, slowed down. Uh, or in some cases even stopped or reversed by the surge in crypto. That's right, crypto. Uh, look, crypto is kind of the low-hanging fruit. That's kind of the, the idiot indicator, right? Every type of degenerate, newbie, mooch bum, um, you know, they're into crypto. It, it attracts the trash of the earth. That's crypto. Uh, and uh, these guys, when the, when the crypto is up, when the crypto goes to, from 20000 to, you know, 60000 right? Uh, you know, these people all of a sudden, they feel like they're billionaires. Uh, and uh, they start buying watches. Now, what's the watch that they all want? You got it, the meteorite dials. Rolex meteorite dials have been catching a bid. Rolex meteorite dials are, are up at, at least 5% in the last four weeks. Again, there's not that many on the market also. If you look on Corona, there's not that many. Now, um, what's happening? Again... The the crypto bros, the crypto bros, the first watch they get is, you know, that, uh, you know, that uh, meteorite doll Rolex. Now, also Richard Mille. Richard Mille, of course, is the, you know, the, <laughs> the official, the official watch of the crypto bros. Those are, from what I, what I understand, again, it's not really my market, but uh, from dealer conversations, those are kind of getting stability. The free fall has stopped. A lot of those guys are, um, you know, they're, they're, they're holding on or some of them might be buying. Again, long term, we're negative on the Richard Mill market, but it is the, the decline has been retarded, slowed down by uh, the surge in crypto. Uh, what else is going on? Well, look, the production from Rolex is, you know, it, it, they're, they're just ramping and ramping it up, right? However problem is why haven't prices declined well because you have this surge in uh in uh, you know in bitcoin also the stock market has been up right a lot of these uh, ai stocks you know a lot of these uh tech stocks are up so uh you know a lot of these uh, robin hood account people you know these these brokesters uh they've been buying the day just 41 with the, with the minty green and the blue dial that is the watch that uh, you know, people want. It's a very uh, fresh, young, youthful, youthful, I should use the word youthful, watch. Uh, and uh, look, any 
you know, any any guy that makes his first couple bucks, the first thing they want to do is they want that Rolex. So that is what is has put the market back into. Uh, I believe we're starting a new bull market. That's right. The new bull market in watches has begun. Uh, and the Rolex is leading the way. Prices are increasing. Even the production is, you know, going through the roof. They're going to be making, yeah, I don't know, 50 million of these watches by next month. Uh, no, all kidding aside, the production is ramping up. But it is, it is more than met by, you know... You had the old demand, but you have a surging demand. So what does that mean? Well, look, if in my opinion, you should not be paying a big premium to um, to some of these models that, uh, you know, whether it's the, the Deja 41s, the Submariners. And again, in my opinion, the only Submariner you should be buying is the, the, the 40, the old version, not the current one. But look, if you have to, I understand. I understand. But um, you're going to be paying a premium uh, in the great dealer secondary market for you know new, the new watches, uh, could be a couple of grand. But here's the thing, right? What's happening is some dealers, which uh, actually we are working with, are uh, they have a special offer for the punters. We get a special offer, and the offer is this: the offer is you buy the watch from them, right? So okay, you don't want to wait, right? You don't want to wait for that watch. You don't want to wait for your ship to come in. You don't have time. Look, time is money, right? Look. You know, if you're in your 20s, okay, let me, let me, I'll just be very real. Like, if you're in your 20, you're 25 years old, you're 25 years old, you made some money, you, you, you don't have time to waste on, you know, waiting on a wait list. Who knows? You, you don't want to waste two years, okay? When you're in your 20s, that's like, a, time is very valuable. You want to have that flashy watch on your wrist so that you can be getting the ladies. That's right. You can be picking up girls when you have that new Rolex, Okay. Uh, you need it now, not in two years. I mean, unless, you know, I don't know. Do you want to wait two years to get laid or you want to you wanna get laid this weekend, right? When you have that Rolex on your wrist, the ladies know that you're an aristocrat. That's right. You're a, a man of wealth and taste, right? And um, that's that's what happens. you got to have that Rolex. So here's the thing. Um, what's happening is uh, some dealers we're working with, the proposition is this. they got a, a proposal, an offer you can't refuse. They're basically saying, look, Buy the watch from them. You're paying a premium, a couple of grand. Let's let's call it three grand, three grand, right? Yeah, you you get you get on your wait list at the, at the Rolex at the Rolex AD, right? <laughs> and if and when your watch comes in, and you know, chances are you probably will get the watch from the AD. You probably will, okay? But it might take six months a year. So here's what you do: the guy says, "Look, you buy the watch from me, uh, and when the AD calls you up, says, hey, we got the watch.'" You buy it from them, right? And you flip it to this uh, to this uh, gray market uh, backpack guy, right? And basically, so instead of paying a three thousand premium, now you're only going to be maybe roughly, you know, when you do all the math, you'll probably be at about a thousand. Okay, so it's basically going to cost you roughly a thousand bucks to have the watch on your wrist today, right? So just do the math. What is it worth to you? How much is your time worth to have the watch on your wrist now, right? So you'll be getting laid this weekend. Rather than having to wait, who knows? Could be six months, could be six days. I don't know, but uh, realistically, it could be, you know, months away. Uh, could be a year for some very desirable models, but yeah, you know, you'll eventually get it. Maybe, maybe not, uh, depending on you know various situations. But yeah, you know, you'll have a sure thing, right? You know, what is that worth to you? So you got to do the math. It may or may not make sense for people, but that is. Uh, an interesting option that we are seeing in today's market. Uh, overall, prices are stabilizing. Okay, prices are stabilizing. Things that are uh, correctly priced are moving. Okay, there is no uh, watch market is dead. You know, that guy, the Puerto Rican hubcap thief, uh, you know Juan from Opus and Time. You know the guy with the hair. The guy who looks like a, a homosexual hairdresser, elderly, elderly homosexual hairdresser. Um, this guy's he keeps repeating this line for the last two years. Well, this is why you got to subscribe to our channel because we give you the reality. The reality is the watch market has bottomed out, uh, probably bottomed out in December. Okay, and we've been already stabilizing, increasing in certain areas for sure. The meteorite dial Rolexes have been already up probably 10% from December. Uh, and that's a leading indicator. That is 
the canary in the coal mine. Now you would know these things if you had uh, subscribed to our uh, newsletter, uh, which is free. Click the link in the video description below to get the Watch Reporter. The Watch Reporter free weekly market report, which shows you the latest deals, price trends, uh, rumors, insider information, right? We don't give you... There's no bullshit, no bullshit. You know, we're not a bullshit, or this is horseshit, actually. But no, we're the real deal. This is the real deal, right? This is the real deal, and uh, the others are this, right? That's the contrast, my friends, contrast. What is it that you want in life? So, bottom line, we're actually seeing prices in Rolex stabilizing. Market is becoming healthier. A lot of watches are actually, I think we'll start seeing increases in certain models going into the next uh, couple of months. Uh, AP vintage stuff, stuff that uh, was very soft, is catching a bid. Now, the only ones that we, uh, it looks like will have some real strength are probably going to be uh, meteorite dials. I think the meteorite dials uh, are going to have uh, a decent amount of strength for the next couple of weeks uh, due to the rally in crypto, you know. A lot of these guys are feeling flush, so, um, you know, uh, you, you'll probably see them uh, starting to cash in some of their crypto for hard assets, such as the international currency on the wrist. That's right. Rolex is the international currency, better than Bitcoin. Unbelievable, but true. All right, all right, punters, let me know what you think. Leave your nasty and vicious comments below. Make sure you subscribe to our newsletter. Subscribe to the channel. The newsletter is free, by the way. Uh, and we'll see you on the next one.